What is up Tackle Boys? Welcome back to another episode. This is part two of the Lucky Craft Flash Minnow 110 Metallic Sardine Review. What I've done here is tied it onto a 25 pound fluorocarbon leader that's about three feet long. And at the tip of it, I have a barrel swivel. Uh, I think it's actually a crane swivel, but they work just the same. Um, and then I actually tied it on with a special loop knot. This is the same knot that you typically tie on a Rapala with. So, so what we're gonna do today is fish this beach. It's low tide right now, it's incoming. Sun is out, it's about 55 degrees. The wind has started to pick up a little bit. The water still looks pretty clear. Um, what we're gonna do is fish some holes right off the beach. Some surfers that were just walking up the same path I was walking down on told me there's a deep hole just about 15 feet off the beach uh, to my right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and fish that hole and get set up. But here we go, part two of the Lucky Craft Flash Minnow Review. Let's see what we can catch. This thing casts pretty far, like I thought. A lot farther than my other jerk baits were casting. So what I've been told is when you when you reel this thing in, you want to basically only reel it fast enough to let the lure do its work. And then when waves come in or out, sometimes it's nice to go ahead and let it stop, pause, or jerk to simulate what a fish would do if the water's moving back and forth and maybe it was injured. So I'm just gonna play around with a bunch of different retrieves today and see if I can't catch a fish. Do you guys see all those sand fleas? This is right where I want to be. These fish are probably feeding on them, rolling around in the surf like that. Comment below, let me know what you call those. I call them sand fleas. Some people call them sand crabs. Oh, I just got it. I just got doink. So this is what it looks like in the water. A nice wobble motion back and forth. It tends to dig into the sand too, which is nice. All right, I'm on a bit of a shelf. Just gonna wing it out there. See what happens. Keep my tip up. I gotta locate these fish. I think they're down here. I'm gonna look for a hole. It's a wave break right in front of me. They're all like coming together around a sort of deep little pool. This lure is great if you really load up your rod. It really launches. The water is crystal clear today. First catch of the day, guys. A freaking sand crab. And I stuck it right in the bootay. Another stinking sand crab. It's bad news when the guy next to you is using sandworms and hasn't caught anything yet. I'm gonna keep trying. I haven't had a hit on this yet, but honestly, I just don't think it's a good day for this lure. Overall, I think that it casts really well. It has a nice look in the water. Uh, the action's nice, jerk motion's nice. I like the weight, it's aerodynamic. Um, overall, I would say that this is a great lure, even though I haven't caught any fish on it. So what I'm gonna do is switch to the sandworm rig that I've been using the last couple times uh, and see if I can locate fish. And if I can, then I'll probably switch back to this and see if I can get them to bite the same, same lure. So we'll go ahead and switch out and uh, get back out on the water. I'm getting my first bite of the day right now. See the tip? I've gotten two hits out here. I just recasted. I'm about 50 yards out, getting hit again. I think I'm, I think I finally got one of these little doinkers. Oh yeah, these are the little frickers that are stealing my bait. Little cutie right there. That's basically bait. Barely hooked them. See ya. They're a little too far out for me to cast the surf pointer. These little guys are ruthless. As soon as I throw it out there, I'm getting hits, but nothing big. It's the little doinkers, little doinkians. 
I need Big Mama to come up and take a swipe. Dude, this wind is bad. There's a storm north of me. And this wind is coming in freaking hot. This lady over here just caught a fish, so <laughs> I'm gonna get back on it. Maybe we can catch dinner before we leave. But I don't think I'm gonna throw the uh, Lucky Craft anymore. It's just not working for me and then I can't cast it with this wind going on. So uh, here we go. I'm on, guys. Nice surf perch right here by my feet. Right here by my feet. Yes! That is awesome. Dang, dude. That fish has seen the better days. Check out that surf perch, guys. That's a nice one. It's got this weird abrasion on his head. I don't know why, but it's bleeding right now. I maybe got hit on the way in or by a rock or something. I don't know. But I'd say this is about 12 inches, maybe right around 12 inches. Definitely a nice fish. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and keep it so I can bring home some, some dinner. What's up, Tackies? So I got a storm kind of rolling in. You guys can hear it. I'm sure I'm trying to block the microphone. It's like 20 mile per hour winds and I can't cast it all. Uh, there are people catching surf perch, as you saw. I caught about a 12 incher and a teeny little one and also earlier a bird, which wasn't very fun. <laughs> but uh, I'm just not really feeling it right now. The goal today was to use, was to use the Lucky Craft and determine whether or not it was an effective lure and the conditions just aren't right to determine whether or not that's true today. So I'm gonna have to come back out and do it again. So look for another video in the future. In the meantime, please feel free to drop any comments uh, in the comment section below, sharing stories or funny fishing stories. I'd like to read about them. Um, and please drop a like if you so desire. Thanks for all the support recently. So with that, take care everyone. Thanks for watching, see ya. Thank you.